Good morning and happy Sunday now. I am gonna go to do some errands today. I'm going to Costco. Well, I wanna go to Costco. It's a little bit late to go to Costco. It's like 11 o'clock. So Costco's been open for about 40 minutes now, which means that it's probably packed and I'll have to park a mile away. But I want to check out their sunglasses because I really want another pair of prescription sunglasses. I've owned some really um, expensive pair of sunglasses before. I've owned at least three or four pairs in my lifetime. But the thing about buying designer sunglasses, the ones that are in like the 500, sometimes even $800 range, is that I'm not very careful with sunglasses. And in my lifetime, I've lost two of the four like really high-end designer sunglasses that I've owned. And I broke one. And the other one, I just, the style I just outgrew. So that's a lot of money that I'm just kind of wasted on sunglasses. I love the style of the fun designer sunglasses, but I just don't want to waste the money. Anyway, that's why I want to go to Costco because they have some other Ray-Ban styles. And I have to say, I really, really like the quality of Ray-Ban sunglasses. My mom actually has um, a couple pair of the really old school Ray-Bans that are still actually made of metal and glass. They are not made of metal and plastic, so they're really heavy and they just kind of don't suit my face. Otherwise, I would totally bogart them because they're so vintage. I am just going to quickly do my makeup. I'm gonna try that new uh, cushion foundation that I picked up. I'm also gonna try the sponge. I'm gonna go clean it really quickly and then I shall be back. Okay, I'm back. I dampened this and as you can see, it grew quite larger than it was before. So I'm gonna use this because my Miracle Complexion sponge, which I have been using, it uh, is, I'm pretty sure ready to retire this because as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but I laid this down while it was wet on a product and the ink from that product has kind of transferred onto the sponge and it's also begun to tear on this flat surface here. So it's just time to retire this. I've had this for about eight months now. I've had this for a while, but I've only recently just started using it consistently every single day. And I don't know about you guys, but I go through beauty sponges really quickly. I usually have to bust open a new sponge well before the six month mark. I don't know why, because I'm not overly hard on sponges. I think it's just because I wash mine before every single use or after every single use. So if I use it every single day, I'm, I'm washing it every single day. And of course, the water and the soap probably will degrade it a little bit quicker. But I just do not like to use sponges over and over again without cleaning them first because it's a lot of gross bacteria on your face. Anyway, I'm gonna give this a shot. Hopefully I like it. Um, hopefully it's a good color match. Um, otherwise, I will just have to make my own cushion foundation in here because I can't return this as final sale. I am so behind on videos. I think I've probably already mentioned this, but I have a whole list of videos that I have promised you guys that I would film and I just haven't gotten to it. One of them is like beauty reviews um, on products and I'm really sorry if I told you I was going to make a video on a product and I haven't already because I just get really busy. Anyway, I am working on it, but some of the products that I have slated to review, I feel like it's kind of moot because the product is either like incredibly old now or maybe even sold out because it's limited edition. So really sorry about that, I am. my kind of no makeup makeup look. <laughs> I haven't done my lips yet, but I do like that cushion foundation. It might be a smidge light for me, so I packed on a little bit of bronzer. Um, I think it's just light because of the sunscreen that I wore underneath. I'm using the Clarins 
sunscreen, the, the transparent one, and it definitely leaves a bit of a white tinge to my skin, which I'm not a huge fan of. I kind of forgot that it did that, um, so when this one runs out, I'm going to look for a different sunscreen. Um, I'm actually looking at some Asian ones um, on YesStyle, so I'll see how, how that works out, but I definitely am not going to repurchase the Clarins sunscreen just because it does leave kind of an, an ashy white layer on my skin so it kind of changes the look of whatever i put on top of it so i usually wait um, a good 20 minutes to let it sink in so it helps alleviate the whiteness but it's still on the skin so this is how the bb cushion looks um i actually like it and i'm definitely going to keep using it i really like the cushion i don't know why i've never gotten into it before but i do like it because it's so easy to apply and reapply if you need to and you never put too much product on because it's a cushion so unlike liquid foundations that you pump out of a bottle sometimes you can put too much on but with a cushion i find that it's much harder to do that happy tuesday that feels like a monday i am home from work i got a couple parcels in the mail which i'll show you guys the contents of after i change and have some dinner because i'm hungry i'm sitting on the floor right now because i'm currently binge watching buffy the vampire slayer on netflix i haven't made it through the first season yet i've seen bits and pieces of the show when it was still on TV actually. Um, I didn't catch probably the earlier seasons but the last few seasons I did catch. I had no idea that it was on Netflix until I found it when I was scrolling through and so I decided to watch it because I remember really liking that series and like I said I am not even finished the first season yet but I always read that the first season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer is the best and then it kind of all kind of goes downhill from there. But nonetheless, I'm going to continue watching it. So I'm only on episode 6 or 7. They're hard episodes to watch because they are 40 minutes long. The good thing is no commercials, but they are quite long episodes. Anyway, I'm taking a little break from Buffy the Vampire Slayer to show you guys uh, some things that I picked up. So this is a little haul. I placed an order on Sephora and also on YesStyle. I didn't buy any clothes from YesStyle, I just bought some beauty products. So I'm gonna show you what I picked up at Sephora first. Um, the only two things I picked up at Sephora were these two um, nail cleansers. So I think these are the same formulation, but just different packaging. So this is the Formula X um, nail cleanser, and this is the Formula X Cleanse XL. Don't know what the difference is, but I actually quite like these. I'm not sure if they're phasing this Formula X line out, or maybe just reformulating it, because everything from the Formula X line is on sale. Now this is the only reason that I place an order on Sephora.com and it's for a 500 point perk. I was perusing through the perks and I saw that they had a 500 point perk for a free benefit brow bar pass. It's not technically free, I mean it costs 500 points. I didn't think it would come in such a fancy box though, so it comes in this hard cardboard box and I also thought it would just come with the past but it actually came with two little samples from Benefit. There's actually two little Benefit freebies in here. This is what the past looks like so it's actually quite fancy and it's only good at the brow bar locations in the Sephora stores and it's good for a brow wax and a tint service which I think is really cool. I only get my brows tinted if it's free because there's just really no point in getting my brows tinted because they're so dark to begin with. The other two little products here, one is the Bravo Conditioning Primer. Not quite sure what this is. I'm actually not a huge fan of the new Benefit Brow line. The other little mini in here is the Hoola Quick Contour Stick. So this is just a little cream contour stick. This one I'll actually probably use. Moving on to the Yes Style segment of my haul. So like I mentioned, I placed an order on YesStyle.com and I have ordered a few things from that site before and uh, they have a really great range of Korean, Japanese, or just Asian beauty products. So not just makeup but also skincare. So I picked up four things and the trick with buying on YesStyle is to always make sure you're looking at the um, ship date because some products are ready to ship right away. 
so they're actually in stock and they can ship it out within 24 hours there's some products that you have to wait 7 to 14 days for and other products sometimes you have to wait 30 days for so my tip for you if it's your first time shopping at yes style is to clump all of your ready to ship items in one order if you want to get them as soon as possible because even if there is only one item in there that will take 14 days to ship that means your entire order will take 14 days to ship so that's something i learned the hard way i picked up this sunscreen from the biore brand even though biore is available in north america the products are not the same i gotta say the, the asian products are way better especially when it comes to spf mainly because in asia skin protecting your skin and skin protection like sunscreens is a really big deal here in North America, it's not. I mean, we can all agree on that. At one point, we had an alarming amount of like tanning booths available. But I picked up this sunscreen from Biore because I read really good reviews about it. It is the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence Sunscreen. So not only is this an SPF 50, but it is also a PA++++, which means that not only is it going to protect you from the UVB rays, but it's also going to protect you from the UVA rays, which uh, UVA, hopefully I'm getting that right, I always get confused, but UVA is actually the um, ray that causes premature aging. UVA and UVB rays are obviously very harmful to your skin, but one of those, I'm pretty sure it's the B, is what causes you to get sunburns, and then A is actually what penetrates like the deeper layers of your skin that causes premature aging and wrinkles and sunspots. So going forward, I'm only going to use sunscreens with a PA plus rating because I'm rarely actually out in the sun, especially on my face, where I would have to protect myself from a burn. Moving on to the other products that I picked up. I picked up this Innisfree Skinny Waterproof Micro Mascara. And the reason I got this is because of the wand. It had an amazing wand. This is the wand that I have been looking for. One of the reasons that I got this is because I love skinny wands on a mascara. So this is a really small wand, just the way I like it and it's supposed to be waterproof and it's supposed to elongate your lashes so can't say no to that whenever i make a yes owl purchase i always like to pick up just something a little fun and random so my fun random thing is this etude house um hair band it has ears how cute is this headband so whenever i'm doing like my nighttime routine i like to have my hair kind of in a loose bun, um, but I have a lot of baby hairs here, so I usually use some Velcro um, to tape it down, but I thought I would just pick this up, and I just think it's so cute. Like, how cute is that? The last thing that I picked up from YesStyle is this BB cushion. I know I just picked up a BB cushion, and I really wasn't going to pick this up, but at the same time, I really wanted to. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to get on the BB cushion wagon. I just always thought for some reason that it was kind of a waste of money because you get so little product in it. But after using the face shop one, you really only need a little bit of product. And plus, I like the fact that there are some skincare benefits to these products so this is from skin 79 it's the injection cushion bb the thing about bb cushions is especially asian ones there's so many different kinds and it's so hard to choose but i didn't want to buy something that was overly expensive i really wanted to try one from this brand i do not know how to pronounce i'll put it here but it was i think 90 dollars on yes style so i thought i would just try out some other kind of more inexpensive cushions before i commit to like a really expensive high-end cushion the thing is too i haven't seen a lot of reviews on these asian cushions at least the ones that i can understand there's some really great asian um, blog posts or videos um but i i can't i don't know how to speak korean or understand korean so i don't know if it's good or not so i had to rely on some reviews that i found on yes style so this is the skin 29 like i said injection cushion bb it comes with two products which is kind of odd um the back is also not in english so not quite sure what to do here there is a lovely diagram there where i presume you take this guy oops this guy and squeeze it into the cushion 
This is the compact. This is in natural beige. One downside with cushions, especially Asian cushions, is that they only come in a couple of different shade ranges. It's not often that one will come it's not often that there'll be a shade deeper than my skin tone. Usually my skin tone is the deepest shade. Sometimes it's not. And sometimes the deepest shade is five shades lighter than my skin tone, which is not awesome. Um, oh, this comes with an extra little puff, which is great because... Question for you guys who use cushions all the time, but how do you clean this? Do you just clean it like you would a makeup brush or do you just throw it out when it's dirty? Nice smear. Might be a little too real, but it's okay. So this is what it looks like. The product hasn't quite settled in there. Oh. So I guess, is this a refill then? Is that what this is? I think that's gonna be a little too light for me. Um, we'll have to see. But yeah, I think this is um, extra product that you can put in here. There's still, there's quite a bit of product in here, but this is just extra in case you run out. That's actually quite thoughtful. There's a bit of a fragrance to it, but it's okay. So you can probably see there, I just smushed it around on this part of my hand and on this part is with nothing and it's like a shade lighter than me. At the same time, it might oxidize, so I'll try this tomorrow and see how I like it. But I'm just excited to hop on the bandwagon of BB cushions because I find them incredibly convenient and so fun to use. My allergies are kicking in a little bit this morning. I went for a walk this morning and I came back with a sniffling nose. Do you guys have allergies? Because I have, I never used to have allergies, but Lately, the last two, three years, I've been getting like pretty bad allergies during the spring season when all that pollen and all that stuff is out. I actually went for an allergy test once and half of my arm, because you know how they do, if you've ever done an allergy test, they test all of the allergens on your arm. So one is for outdoor, one is for indoor, and I basically flared up at every half, at least half of my arm for the outdoor flared up. So I'm allergic to a lot of outdoor things. Not severely. Um, some people get like really bad red rashes. I just got a bit of irritation. Um, but yeah, allergic to a lot of stuff. Okay, so this guy that I picked up yesterday, it is definitely too light for me. Um, it's about a shade and a half too light. And it leaves a little bit of a like a gray cast on my skin so i'm not a huge fan of that yeah i tried it yesterday and it was just a little too late for me i tried it um I, cl I cleaned my face off and then i just put it on and i let it oxidize and it it was like just a little bit too light but the gray cast is something that i can't live with it kind of gives you well you know in asia it's really um like the goal is to have like that perfect light white skin so a lot of the products have whatever ingredient they put in it to give you kind of that that white white cast kind of look. So not a huge fan of that, um, especially with my skin tone, it just looks really off. <laughs> so I thought I would just scrap that one and I'm gonna continue using my BB cushion from the face shop, I actually quite like this, and this is in a pretty good match for me. I have my hair in a towel because it left a bit of a wet spot on my face dress so i have to let this dry my hair is a little bit damp so i'm gonna keep it in the towel um anyway i'm gonna try this uh, mascara that i picked up from yesdale i just got it yesterday so this is the first time i'm trying it the wand is so tiny like look how small that wand is oh my gosh it is coating every single lash so easily Okay, let's zoom you in here. I do like the look of the mascara. Um, it was pretty easy to apply. You just have to be careful um, putting the wand back into the tube because it's very um, tiny, so you can mess it up very easily. But I do like how it's coated every single lash, and we'll just have to see how it wears throughout the day. I'm currently in the drive-thru for McDonald's because I'm getting me and my boss um, a coffee. And I have a rule against drive throughs I actually hate going through drive throughs because I hate idling my vehicle. But the parking lot in this place is so busy and there's like one car in the drive through So it's going to save me a lot more time to just be in the drive through But it's actually making me cringe here 
idling my car. I don't like it. I just got home from having dinner with my mum and I'm home alone today. I think I mentioned it earlier, but the beau is going to Sudbury, so he's not home tonight. So it's just me. I think I'm gonna do kind of like a midweek skin spa night. <laughs> I feel like doing a mask tonight. And I'm also going to paint my nails because I'm kind of over the Tarte Deco, although I really like it. Probably go back to something neutral and I don't know, see what else I get up to. I am wearing this cute little headband that I got from Yesel and I'm doing my nighttime routine. So normally I reserve my nighttime routine for when I am about to go to sleep, but I'm doing it a little bit early because I just kinda wanna take a little bit of extra time with my nighttime routine. I am now doing the mask portion of my nighttime routine. While I have this mask on, I'm actually gonna see if I can cocktail my own BB cushion. I haven't decided what I'm going to put into the foundation or the cushion, I guess, but I'm gonna see what I have and what I can actually put in there. I'm not one to always gripe about the weather, but what is with this weather? It's actually cool again today. It's... This is, wow, my mirror is always dirty. I swear I clean this, um, but this is what I'm wearing today. So this is the sweater from Uniqlo. It's a uh, 95% cotton, 5% cashmere, so it's still quite soft and it also washes very well. Um, pants are from Zara and then my shoes are the ones from Calvin Klein. I'm obsessed with these. I definitely want to get more colors, but they don't really have interesting colorways that I want to pick up. I'm home from work now and I got some mail. So I ordered a pair of shoes at the Bay on Saturday when I was at Yorktown. But yeah, they didn't have my size in store, so I just had them deliver it because it was 15% off, I think, extra 15% off. I also have to do a major plug for my DIY BB cushion because I wore it all day today and I really liked it. I did reapply it um, once, kind of just under the eye because I didn't wear concealer today and that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> I definitely need concealer in my life because I have such dark circles. But I quite like this, and I'm gonna continue to use this. I'll show you the pair of shoes that I picked up. Um, I have had one of these in the past, but they kinda got really old and grubby. I actually used to wear these all the time. I had them in three different colorways. I had them in black, white, and also pink, and I totally wore them out. So I actually don't, wait, well, I still might have my pink ones, but I just don't wear them anymore because they're so old. <laughs> So this is the um, Converse. It is the one with the thinner sole. You can get ones that have like a thicker sole, but I don't really like those. I prefer the thinner sole. I think these are just the original. And I am a size seven. Hopefully this is the correct size. I miss having this style of shoe in my life. I really like how easy it is to wear. Just very simple. Um, Hopefully this is a good size. I think, I'm pretty sure I'm at a seven. I don't remember if I sized down in this, but hopefully a seven is fine. These are how the shoes look. I'll show you what it looks like with my outfit. Not the best style choice, but here we go. I freaking love this sweater. It was so comfy today, and I'm so happy I went with kind of a looser fit. Um, yeah, I just don't like when cable knit sweaters are really taut on skin. I don't know why, but I don't like that. So I like how this is a little bit looser. Hello, for an outfit today, I am essentially wearing the opposite of what I was wearing yesterday. So I'm wearing a dark top, light bottom. Yesterday I was wearing a light top, dark bottom. Um, it's actually also the same sweater style. So this is the navy version of the same sweater I was wearing yesterday. And then I also just wore the camisole that I picked up from Uniqlo because I wanted to wear it and it's kind of too cool to wear it alone, so I just put a sweater over it. I also decided that I'm going to be getting a haircut today, so I'm actually have an appointment tonight at 5.30. So this is how my hair looks right now. Um, it's all just kind of one length all the way around, and I'll show you guys what my hair looks like after my haircut. I don't know if this happens to you guys or maybe it's just psychological, but Every day that I'm about to go get a haircut, I just feel like my hair looks extra good. So for example, today, I did not do anything special with my hair care routine. I haven't put any oil in it, um, but it looks not frizzy, which is surprising. So I just, I just think that's funny. It's probably psychological, but I just think it's hilarious that 
every time I go for a haircut, I feel like my hair looks especially good that day and it makes me second guess the haircut, but I always get the haircut anyway. Happy Friday! Friday, the weekend begins right now because I'm heading, actually I'm getting a haircut now, but this is a little before of my hair, just so you can drink it in. I actually quite like my hair today. I did a middle part, if you can see that, and I like it, but I'm gonna get a little bit of a trim and maybe some bangs. Okay, haircut is done. I love it. I got bangs. Whoop. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'll show you guys what it looks like um, once I get home in like a bit of a better angle. I'm just in the car now waiting for this, the longest light ever to turn green. So this is my new hair. I really like it. It's um, just a couple inches shorter than it was before. Um, obviously the bangs are new. And it is a full bang, although I was playing with it in the car and I kind of messed up a little. Anyway, I really like it and there's something fun about you know, running your fingers through your hair after a fresh cut, that's just so satisfying. So I'm very happy with my new hair, and um, just to show you kind of how it looks from the back, let's see if I'm talented enough to do this. Yeah, so it's uh, layered, it's not all one length, and I'm really happy with it. I always go through this kind of cyclical phase with bangs. I love bangs, but after a couple weeks, I'll just be sick of them because they're so high maintenance. But you never know, maybe I will end up keeping this longer than two weeks. Thank you, we're on the road now. I finished getting ready and man, having bangs is a lot of work, but I'm still really loving them, so it's worth it. I didn't wear a lot of makeup. I, Whenever I have bangs, I only finish like the lower half of my face because I already have combination skin so I don't want to like pile on products on my forehead because then it'll just make my bangs extra greasy so I'll do my skincare but I try not to put anything super moisturizing on my forehead like I don't put oils or really rich creams and then I will put sunscreen on obviously I just slap it on everywhere and then I'll put primer on and I'll put primer on my forehead and then I'll just stop I don't even fill in my brows when I have bangs I just put like brow gel through them we are driving the M3 today because um, it's been a while since the Beau has actually driven this car he's driving another vehicle um, for the last six weeks Five weeks? Yeah, so it's been a while since we've been in the M3. And uh, we are gonna go get an e-test done, I think. And then we're gonna go to Costco and Rexall. Tempted to get one of these. So the new Bioderma Photoderm Compact. So they're SPF, but in a powder form. Oh, actually it's a cream. <gasps> I like that. They only come in two shades, um, so like a light and like a... Well, this one is in the shade light and this is in golden. We're home from Costco and just doing some errands and I am now going to go through my nail polish. But while I was at Costco, we can never leave Costco without spending at least $100. So while we were at Costco, I saw that they had these um, Birkenstocks. On, not on sale, but they had them in stock. And these are the Giza style. They're the ones with, um, they're not the ones with the straps, they kind of look more like flip-flops, leather flip-flops. Anyway, I actually quite like this style and um, I find that the the original Birkenstock style, like the one with the two wide straps, makes my feet look extra wide. So I picked this up um, and yeah, they fit really well and I've had a style like this before except they were in um, the fluoro leather so they weren't um, actual leather which is unfortunate. I really like them and they were comfortable like the bed was comfortable but I found the synthetic leather to be uncomfortable. These ones on the other hand are fully leather and yeah I'm really excited. They were only $89.99 which I thought was a steal. Okay while I declutter this I am gonna watch episodes of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'm still on episode 7 or 8. Haven't quite finished the first season, but I'm just gonna have it play in the background.
polishes that I decluttered my first round and then these ones I decluttered today. I managed to declutter quite a few polishes. Um, my goal was to have each row, as you can see, I have five rows of um, nail polish storage. So my goal was to have only one single row of nail polishes on each one of these shelves and mission accomplished. I'll mention a few notable polishes that I'm going to be saying goodbye to. These uh, beautiful polishes from Essie. I really love Essie polishes, as you guys know, it's most of my collection. Um, I'm getting rid of these ones because they're, one, very similar, and two, some of them have gone kind of off. Uh, this one, Turquoise and Caicos, absolutely love this, but it's just um, not, doesn't apply very well anymore. Um, these two, Mint Candy Apples. I absolutely loved mint candy apple. This one was my original bottle because I purchased this one and they just do not look the same. This looks like a robin's egg blue. It's definitely on my would purchase again, but as of now, I don't need it in my collection. And then I'm also saying goodbye to absolutely sure because I do love this color, but it just applies very streaky. These Essie glitters are stunning. They're so beautiful, but they dry out so quickly. They, after using it a couple of times, they turn all weird and gloopy. I have a bunch of these adorable, cute little minis that I love, but I just don't wear ever. I'm also over neons. I haven't worn a neon polish in ages. I wanted to keep these the first round because I thought I would wear them again and I really like these colors, I just, I don't wear it. So China Glaze in Pink Voltage and this is an Avon Megawatt polish in Hot Pants. Both really great colors, I just, not a huge fan of neons anymore. China Glaze in Foie Gras, actually I lied, it's in Dress Me Up. This is from the Hunger Games collection that came out many moons ago and I just, like other colors. I have a very similar color to this in my collection and I prefer the formulation on it a little bit better. So saying goodbye to this. Okay, so I have managed to, in my second round of nail polish decluttering, get rid of 46 polishes. Not bad. Okay, we are just dropping off some hazardous waste at the hazardous waste facility in our town. And it was actually pretty quick, although the wait up here took forever. Well, about 20 minutes, I'd say. Um, but yeah, better than throwing your nail polishes out in the garbage, just take them to whatever hazardous waste facility is nearby.